let's now add the fire ember particles. We will create a new comp for this too. Let's call this ember particles. Same settings for everything else. Let's click OK. We are going to drag our luminance layer in here as well. And this is going to be used to generate the particles. And for this to work, this needs to be a 3D layer. Let's uh, switch it off, create a new solid. Let's call this particular. Go to effect, trap code, particular. And we want to go to the emitter settings and set this to layer. And then in the layer emitter section, we want to point to the luminance pre-layer. Let's switch off transparency so we can see what's going on. And uh, as you scrub this, you may start to see some particles flying around. We'll keep the particle count at 100. The velocity though should go to 250. So they move uh, faster. It's kind of hard to see what's going on, but uh, we'll sort this out shortly. Let's set the emitter size is Z to 200. And the particles are going to be around four, five seconds each. Keep scrolling. Sphere feather, set this to zero. And then opacity over life. We can start with a linear preset and we want to fade this in slowly. So just draw this on with your mouse and something like this should, uh, should work pretty well. In the rendering section, let's go to the motion blur, set this to just on and the shutter angle, this is going to be 1000. And this will start to stretch out the particles like this. Now these are very hard to see. So let's add a levels adjustment to the layer. And uh, we just want to pull the last handle, the input white to the left side here until the particles come into focus. In the original example, this was set to about 30. And now we can see these particles flying around and all of their colors are based on our luminance layer. In the main comp, we can go to the project tab and let's get that comp we just created. So amber particles, let's drop this here and set the mode, set its blending mode to add. This is quite a subtle effect. So if you feel the need to make it stronger, you can just uh, duplicate the layer and it's gonna be more obvious.